Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts. Today the plumbers are here and they're putting all the pipes in that go below the slab. They're also putting in the radon vents, which you can see the vertical risers, as well as the vented pipes that'll go below the gravel to allow any radon that's coming up through the ground to vent out the top of the house. It's here. Just park on the grass, man. Park wherever you want. It's got the skull cap on today. That means business. It's doing a little mental notation. Every good construction manager double checks the work of the subs. Plumbing is the first place we're doing something unique that's going to give us a greener application and that's running an individual water line from a manifold by the hot water heater to each fixture. In other words, if we turn on the bathroom faucet, there's only one line that comes directly to that faucet. Actually, it will serve the bathroom. So that one bathroom is served by its own pipe. So it, in other words, the water doesn't go through the kitchen, then the other bathroom, then to the third bathroom. It only goes from the hot water heater to one location. So I'm only warming up the volume of water needed to get to that tap. And it's gonna save a lot of water and keep a lot of hot water from just sitting in the pipes and cooling down. All right, so the plumbing guy just did something really interesting, which was to use a little four inch pipe on a long pole to fill up the top of the stand pipe there, the vent pipe. In other words, the whole plumbing system now, all that pipe is full of water. And that's where when the, the inspector comes, he's gonna check it for leaks. And then Ed, what you're saying, I get to, once it passes inspection, I get to pop the cap. We and we got a little geyser cap. going. We get, yeah. Run away. Run away, all right. So somehow I earned the right to do that, I guess since I'm the homeowner here. No, I'll do it. <laughs> no, I'll do it. I just drill a little. I, I, I found other ways around it. Do you like a little hole? Drill, start, with, start small. So since these pipes are going in under a slab, the leak test is all the more important. Of course, I guess in the plumbing above slab, we want to make sure it's not leaking either. But but those are easier to find. Right now, tomorrow morning, if there's any of this is mo has moisture on it, we'll know there's a problem. Okay. Actually, we'll know now because it, it starts right away. There's a lot of pressure from that much the weight of the water. Uh, so, what happens next? Inspection. So inspection we inspection man. We have the inspection for the plumbing before it's backfilled, then after it's backfilled. Then right? it's then it's filled. Once we inspect this and we pass, we backfill it, get it ready for um, your concrete. Inspect it again, either by the city or engineer. Then we pour the concrete, and then we start getting our framing package out here. All right, so the slabs go in next. Gravel, then the basement slab, and the slab on the back half of the house. And then we start framing. Awesome. Yep. Coming together. Mm -hmm. So how much time do you think we got left, Ed? That I'm not going to hold you to it, though. A couple of weeks. A <laughs> couple of weeks. We'll be hearing that for about three months. A couple of weeks, you'll be able to move in. And you'll be fine. Yes. You haven't met my Sleeping wife. Sleeping bag. You haven't met my wife. No tent. <laughs> <laughs> no tents. No tents. She doesn't do tent camping. No? No. Although we would be safe from a tornado in this basement. It's yeah. going to be pretty secure. That's the that's corner you want to be in. That's right. Or this one. Okay. All right, let's go take a look at the plumbing in the basement. 
So Ed, looking at the wall here, we've got four hot water lines going through the wall, but only one cold water line. Explain the benefit here. What we've done is we've ran home runs, to use an electrical term, which means we're running hot water directly from the hot water heater to that fixture. So we're going from the hot water directly to the sinks, directly to the shower, to the washing machine, and to the sink and the power. So those four lines will be straight in um, under the slab. Everything else we can reach through the framing. Um, what it allows you to do is if you're calling for hot water, you can get it a little quicker, but you use less, save a little water in, in the process. So you're not having to heat up the pipe going all the way around, looping all the way around the whole house in order to get hot water to the sinks and the master. And also then, you, you don't have all that hot water you had to fill the pipe with to get it hot to the tap sitting there in the pipe cooling down. That's why it's not an issue with a single cold water line serving the whole half of house because yep. it's the cold water can sit in the pipe and it's not wasting energy. Yep. The lines are also insulated all the way through and we'll continue that inside the house too. So it makes the hot water stay warm a little longer. So we'll see the manifold component of that once we get the hot water in, it'll be closer to our we'll final be, plumbing. We rough the house. Yeah. Efficient use of hot water. That's one thing that makes a greenhouse green. Thanks for watching. Please like and share and subscribe for new videos weekly. The Green Shorts Greenhouse, uncovering what makes a greenhouse green.